Hey, Mike here and today we're gonna do a very simple hamburger menu animation. But I need to say this first. If you're considering a hamburger menu in your app, you probably shouldn't do it. Uh, it's way better to do a set of tabs at the bottom of the page than a hamburger menu. So the reason for this animation is mostly to accommodate for those very rare cases of needing a hamburger menu. So I'm starting with a bluish green background and creating three lines to represent our hamburger. For the line color I'm picking the background color and making it a little bit darker and then moving it slightly towards a more blue hue. Let's set the end caps to rounded and let's make the line a little bit thicker. Now I duplicate it three times and set them at a nice distance from each other so they look good as a hamburger menu. The proportion is a little bit off, so I'm making the lines a little bit shorter. Now I name and rearrange the layers. So the first line from the top is number 1, the middle line is number 2 and the bottom line is number 3. You can put them in a group to make it a little bit easier if it's a more complex project. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna call the group Hamburger. Now I duplicate the entire artboard and I'm gonna change the background color to a very light red. So I'm starting with making the middle line a lot shorter and moving it a little bit to the left. Then I place it exactly horizontally in the center between the upper and the lower lines. Now I'm gonna rotate the bottom line to negative 45 degrees and the top line to 45 degrees. And the next step is to drag those lines on top of the circle in the middle so they kind of intersect where the circle is. Now let's change the color of both of those lines to red and drag the opacity of the middle dot to zero. Okay, time for the interactions. Add an interaction to the hamburger menu and point it to the second screen, set it to motion and for now just so we can see everything I'm gonna set it to two seconds. And then let's do the same with the X, point it back to screen number one, set it to motion and two seconds. Now we can preview the animation and as you can see it rotates and turns and fades a little bit slowly but at least we can see what's happening exactly. So this already does something and it looks quite okay but I think that we can still do better. So I'm gonna go back to the hamburger menu and I'm gonna duplicate the middle line. So the result was gonna be two lines and I'm gonna make them shorter so together they will look exactly the same as if it was just one line. And also for clarity, let's call them 2 and 4. Now I'm gonna take uh, number 2 from the second screen and I'm gonna remove it and then I'm gonna paste both 2 and 4 from the first screen to the second screen. So the idea is that our middle line breaks in two and each uh, part of the line goes into the other direction. And of course they have to disappear as well, so once they're in the right spot I'm decreasing the opacity of both of them down to zero. Yeah, so it's okay, but it can still look a lot better. So I'm going back to the hamburger menu and I'm making sure that both of those lines are a lot shorter. And since they're overlapping and you can't really see where each line begins and ends, you can put one of them a little bit higher, play around with their sizes and then put it back in. Okay, now that we have the base for the animation, you can actually make it faster, so go to one second or even faster than that. Now you can see it looks a little bit better and it's a little bit more original. So you can play around with it even further. You can uh, move those lines further apart or in completely different directions. They can maybe go diagonally or maybe you can put four lines to form the middle line. Just be creative, have fun and yeah, try your own and send me your results. And of course you can put it in a more complex app, so it doesn't have to be just a hamburger on its own, it can be a part of an application, so that way when you're opening the menu it can slide out, but the animation of the actual menu looks good. Okay, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and see you next time!